Hi there, it's Mrs. Drake with the saxophone, and we are looking at book lesson 16. Lesson 16. So I hope you've already warmed up. Warm up on your five note scales or your other scales. Get yourself warm, warmed up. And uh, now we're looking at lesson 16. And let's do, do number one. Number one is a nice warm up also. If you look underneath the music, there are some markings. Um, the F at the, underneath the beginning means forte, which means to play loudly. About halfway through the song, there's a P under the music, which means to play quiet. And then you see these arrows that are opening up and closing down. When they open up, it's called a crescendo, means gradually get louder. And then as the arrow is closing, it means to gradually become more quiet. Um, F stands for the Italian word forte, and piano um, is the Italian, the letter P stands for the Italian word piano. The idea of music writing was invented in Italy hundreds of years ago, so there's the tradition is still to use musical words in Italian. They use Italian. Okay, for elementary school, I am not very picky about using the forte and the piano and the crescendos and all that stuff. If you want to try it, certainly okay with me. But for elementary school, I worry more about your fingers being right, trying to get a beautiful tone, get the rhythm right. Um, those extra things are called the dynamics. Feel free to try it, but again, I am not picky about the dynamics in elementary school. Okay, song number one for a warm-up. Everybody find a C. Song number one, C, C, that speed. Song number one, everybody. One, two, ready, go. Let's take a look at song number two. Song number two, notice the key signature. F sharp key signature, but there are no Fs in this song anyways. Why do they have the F sharp key signature? The reason is the melody ends on a G, and the tradition is if the melody ends on, on a G, usually they have the F sharp key signature. It's just one of the musical rules. Okay, so it starts on a G. Everybody find a G? Ta ta ti ti ta. Let's do that speed for number two. Remember, breathe in once in a while to clear off your spit. Song two. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> song three longer song and there's a new thing in this one so take a look at song three and I used highlighter it's DS Alfine on the other pages we've had some DC Alfines but this one is DS Alfine and that stands for Del Segno Alfine Del Segno is Italian it means the sign so take a look at that kind of S curly Q thing. Sometimes I call it a demented dollar sign, a demented dollar sign. But the um, technical term for it is del segno, which is Italian for the sign. Okay, so the deal on song three is you play through the first line, you play through the second line, you play through the third line, you hit the DS alfine, which means return to the del segno. So it's a type of repeat sign. So after you play the end of the third line, you can jump back to that measure, you play this part again, and then you stop where the word fine is, because fine means finish in Italian. So that's the end of the song. You can also tell because it has the thin line and the thick line. So let me say it again. You play the first line, you play the second line, you play the third line, you go back to the del segno, you play again, you play the second line again, and then that's the end of the song at the end of the second line. Okay, song number three has an F-sharp key signature. Hmm, I don't see any Fs in it anyways. Okay, so it starts on a D. Everybody find a D? Song three. One, two, ready, go.
long song. That's it for now. I will continue this on another video.